Welcome to a night of total terror. <laughs> Night of the Living Dead. Well, it's about that time we tackled some good old-fashioned zombies. I mean, zombies have been kind of a thing for a while now, but to be fair, everything's been kind of a thing. This episode also calls back to an earlier pranking dash we've seen many seasons ago, but instead trying to turn this whole episode about the cons of overpranking and Drug abuse, apparently. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. This is as genuine of a slice of life episode as one can get. And it's another one of those, well, it happened. Rainbow learned her lesson. and the end. But in all honesty, Rainbow should have known a little better. At least for ponies like Fluttershy, who already spent a whole episode talking about her crippling fear of everything last Halloween. Fuzzy legs, do you think you could secure those windows? And you'll alert me if anything scary comes close to the cottage? Shh. Oh, who am I kidding? When something scary comes close to the cottage? This episode starts in the dark and Flutters is walking with some animals until a scary monster that happens to look like Discord emerges from the shadows. Again, RD should have known better, but maybe this episode is trying to establish a sympathetic tone for the people who are being pranked is my only guess for the decision to use Fluttershy in the first place, but what do I know? Back in the Friendship Castle, Twilight and Company explained to Rainbow the error of her ways, but Pinky sides with Rainbow, saying that pranks can be fun, and Rainbow Dash gets called lazy. I can do funny. I know you can. I guess the trick is making sure that your idea of funny matches the pony you're pranking. That way... <laughs> I don't think that was a good idea. Insert not only some upscale pranks, but to the entire town, too. That starts to get everyone mad. So in comes Pinky's secret spy agent to trick Rainbow into thinking that her final prank, hiding rainbow-flavored cookies in the depths of the CMC's Girl Scout cookies, the ones that the whole town will get, into going horribly wrong. Pinky is the first to react. Be careful, kids. Pinky's got them ready for madness going up in here. Oh, so mad. See the kids. Precious kids. Yes, their heads are on the chopping block and someone's got to dare to take a stand. Can't ignore anymore. It could be your son or daughter with a deadly stick of reaper in her hand. Heading straight for... Rainbow Dash convinces herself that Pinky's just sick and continues with their plan, even coming with the CMC Rarity and Applejack to deliver the cookies. After dark, Rainbow Dash then patiently waits for a plan, quote-unquote, to unfurl around her, but to her shock, no pony seems to be home. And suddenly, there's a slow disturbance in the force. We get zombie ponies emerging. They corner who's left, and Rainbow is forced to spill the beans to Applejack and Rarity. And the minions. Yay! But it's too late! After Rainbow Dash starts fleeing for her life, the townspeople admit they got her right before she was about to have a heart attack to prove to her what it's really like to be scared. So, you're not sick? None of you are? Gotcha! Oh my dude, you just got pranked! Bet you didn't see that one coming, huh? And that's the end of this one. Honestly, there's not much to say about this one due to the use of montage and straightforwardness. Rainbow screwed up. Rainbow learned a lesson. Most of the episode is spent setting up the prank, or establishing that Rainbow is a pretty good prankster, or setting up the whole cookie plot. Again, not a bad thing, but it's a lot of stuff that we already know about Rainbow. Her being the sneaky mofo that she is. It's nice to finally see her actions here get the better of her, but you know. Should've known better. I'm surprised Pinky was able to go along with the betrayal, to be honest. I wonder how the town was able to convince her to do it. The Walking Dead shouts were also pretty good. I enjoyed this episode. 